Hey everyone, Richard from Digital Foundry here, and this is it, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 running on the PlayStation 4 Pro. And this is an interesting one, it was announced at the PlayStation meeting as part of Activision's support for the new console, and yeah, it seems to be running at a full 4K resolution using Sony's checkerboarding technology. So effectively we're looking at a base resolution of 1920 by 2160 and then the GPU does its magic in extrapolating out a full 4k image and well it's interesting to see the results we get here because they are rather mixed and it's safe to say that the checkerboarding is some of the most blatant that we've seen it's mostly in motion and generally speaking on a typical 4k display you probably won't pick it up owing to most displays limited motion resolution but in still shots it sticks out like a sore thumb and it's probably the most obvious example of checkerboarding we've seen and it's not a patch on Call of Duty Infinite Warfare which did hide the artifacts rather well. Now similar to that game there is quite an advanced post-process effects pipeline but it does feel somewhat less sophisticated and it's particularly evident on motion blur. There's a kind of ringing artifact that we see there. It's really quite unattractive. Generally though in motion hard to pick up. So now we're moving into a stress test area which uh, we've picked out for a bit of performance testing here because it shows up the strengths and weaknesses of the Pro implementation. You can see here that the overall performance in less stressful areas is actually pretty good and it's holding 60 much more than the standard PlayStation 4. But as soon as the engine is stressed you can see a massive differential and it is in favour of the base hardware. You can see that massive screen filling explosions there are really causing issues for the Pro and we're seeing a typical sort of double buffer V-Sync here where each frame is kind of exceeding its 16 millisecond render time so it waits for the next screen refresh and effectively it drops the frame rate down to 30 frames per second in these areas. It's really quite obtrusive and not very impressive at all but as we move out of the stress area you can see that the Pro sort of takes point again producing a more consistent 60 hertz refresh but it is the inconsistencies here that really cause problems. But you know, as we approach the end of the stress test, you can see that the base PlayStation 4 also has issues as well. Well, we always thought that Call of Duty Black Ops 3 performance was a bit janky and well, it's actually on par, if not worse, on the Pro. And as you can see when we reach the end of the stress test area, both suddenly drop down to 30 FPS. Now this is actually by design. Call of Duty Black Ops 3's engine driven cutscenes tend to vary between a full 60 FPS and a locked 30, presumably when there's more detailed effects work and characters on screen. And as we move into this sequence, which is kind of like an introduction to your training in using your new cyber technology, this whole cutscene is indeed playing out at 30 frames per second. And you can see that as we jump from the cutscene back into gameplay, yeah, we're back into sort of 60 FPS territory here. And it really is a kind of element of Black Ops 3 that we weren't too happy with at the time. The fact that Treyarch was willing to really push the boat out on visuals, but it was at the expense of the series' signature 60 FPS gameplay. And there's no change there on the Pro, it's the same deal. 30 to 60 as we move from cutscene to gameplay. But there are some levels where we do actually see a really improved level of performance generally and it's mostly in scenes where there isn't any kind of screen filling explosions and this is an interesting point actually. It's an element that we've seen causing problems on Pro titles. Transparencies are really taxing on the GPU and obviously with the Pro now effectively producing a 4K image. Well if you look at the Pro specs, memory bandwidth hasn't scaled in line with GPU. GPU power so there are going to be some areas where the game actually runs smoother and quite a few where they don't. Okay so we did some pixel counting to ascertain the native resolution of the game. In the original Black Ops 3 it was running at a kind of dynamic resolution and it would adjust pixel count according to engine load. We've actually taken a series of stills from the game, did some pixel counting on them and it does seem to be holding its checkerboard 4K resolution throughout. There doesn't seem to be any dynamic scaling there and this may explain why frame rate is just so variable in this title, particularly when there are a lot of alpha effects in play. It's kind of curious that Treyarch doesn't seem to have employed the dynamic resolution scaling technology on this one. 
So overall it's been really interesting to revisit Call of Duty Black Ops 3 on the PlayStation 4 Pro and it kind of stands in marked contrast to Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Now obviously Treyarch is working on its next Call of Duty instalment which is going to be due in a couple of years if the three year development cycle holds true. So we shouldn't really be expecting the studio to be investing a huge amount of time in producing a really polished experience for PlayStation 4 Pro owners, particularly when retrofitting checkerboarding technology to a year old code base isn't exactly going to be a trivial task. But at the same time, well once again we are going to have to refer you to those PlayStation 4 technical requirements which do say that Pro titles should be running at the same frame rate or faster than existing base PS4 games and in the case of Black Ops 3 as we've demonstrated it's sort of one or the other, it's not really consistent at all in really taxing scenes. That's a bit of a shame, especially when it's stablemate Call of Duty Infinite Warfare is producing such a consistent locked fantastic looking experience overall and at the same time it's not as if Black Ops 3 is a dead game that's being resurrected here. Some sources are saying that its engaged user base is actually on par with Call of Duty Infinite Warfare which has just come out which is quite a big achievement overall. But yeah overall it has been fascinating to revisit Call of Duty Black Ops 3. On the one hand while it is a bit rough around the edges it is indeed pulling off checkerboarding 4k and very few titles are managing that at a locked 21 60p. Okay so I'm going to wrap it up for now. Please do remember to like and subscribe to support Digital Foundry and you can go one step further by supporting our Patreon link in the video description below. Five dollars per month gets you access to the master videos that we submit to YouTube and the quality level is frankly on a completely different level. So I'll leave it there for now. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.